everyone, what's going on? Today we are out in the alleyway here because we have a set of BF Goodrich KO2s in a 285 7017 that we're going to be looking at and doing a little bit of a one year review on today. So I've had these tires on my truck for about a year, uh, give or take about 7,000, 8,000 kilometers. And I figured, you know what, there's a lot of people out there looking at these KO2s. They're wondering, hey, how are they doing? Have they been good for you? Would you recommend them? And I said, I can't give you a simple answer. I'm going to make a video about it. So here is a video about it. And today we're going to be covering five topics. The first topic is going to be just a brief overview of these tires, um, some of the features, some of the things that they claim. And then we're going to look at on-road performance. And we're going to look at off-road performance, followed by wet, uh, winter performance, and then wet driving performance. At the end of that, we're going to do a brief overview of all those topics and just give a little bit of a pros and cons list. And I'm going to share my thoughts and if I'd recommend them or not. So follow along, stay tuned, and let's get started. All right, and so with me here, I have the BF Goodrich KO2s. I have these in a 285 70 17. Um, the translation for that is about a 33 inch tire. The true diameter is probably about 32.9, but give or take, we call it a 33. And so I have these on some black Rhino chamber wheels. These are an 8.5 inch uh, width wheel. Uh, they weigh around 26 pounds and they're in a zero offset. And so I've had the KO2s on here for about a year. And these KO2s are E-ply. They are the Baja Champion ones, so E-ply means that that's the load rating. They can take a little bit more load. Uh, these are 10 plies, so they got 10 plies just below the tread here, and then the sidewalls are 3 ply. You find a lot of all terrains with the 2 ply sidewall, there's some that actually feature the 3 ply. It depends what you want to do. If you're going to be using these sidewalls, if you're going down with maybe a lot of jagged roads, if you're doing a little bit more off-roading, you might want that sidewall support. There's been a few tires in the market, like Duratrax, who've had some tears in their sidewalls over the years and so getting a good sidewall if you're going to be using a sidewall or need that protection definitely makes a lot of sense. As I just mentioned these are also all terrains and so if you live in a place like such as Alberta where you don't know if you're going to wake up with pants or shorts on you have another problem but you don't know if you're going to be wearing pants or shorts that means that you might need a wheel that can go through snow that can go through the summers that can go through kind of everything. The one caveat with this is, if you are getting an all-terrain, you're getting a tire that's usually pretty good at everything, but not particularly great at one thing. Um, the BF Goodrich KO2s are no exception to this. They're a pretty decent tire in everything that they offer, but in some areas they struggle a little bit, whereas some areas they might actually be pretty good. And so, these are the tires I've had. I have them in, uh, had them on for about seven, 8,000 kilometers. Uh, the starting tread depth was about 15, 30 seconds, or 16, 30 seconds. They've gone down one thirty second. And so they've worn evenly. I've had no cupping or any wear issues. The tires have been rotated regularly, and I've also had alignments while I've had these on my vehicle. But for overall, for wear, there's been no issues. I've actually liked the way they've worn. And so for that, I would say they've been pretty good. And so let's go on to on-road. And so when we start to look at the topic of on-road performance, there's a lot of things that can change um, a tire's on-road performance. Of course, road noise. When you have a little bit more of a burly tread on top, you're going to get more road noise. You're going to get more of a contact surface on the road, which is going to create a little bit more drag. Um, with these KO2s, you do get a pretty burly tread pattern. Uh, the shoulders are pretty raised. It actually makes for quite a nice look. Um, when it comes to on-the-road performance, I've had no problem with uh, the truck pulling it all, and they've actually been relatively quiet in comparison to dirt tracks or similar. Of course, a mud terrain, they're nothing as loud as a mud terrain, but they have been very quiet. I've actually never sat down in my truck and been like, wow, I hear my tires. This has been one benefit for the KO2s. I've had no problems when it comes to on-road performance. They've handled well. Um, if I've had a brake quick, they've been able to get good traction on the road. If I've had to take off quick, they've actually had good traction as well. Um, with that being said, the one thing that does bother me with the on-road performance is if I'm driving in gravel, these have a tendency to pick up rocks like no other tire I have ever had. I don't know if it's just the tread pattern, if they're the perfect, uh, just width apart here for picking up gravel, but there's almost every single time I drive, also I have a back alley, a stone in my wheel which drives me nuts. And so that's the one thing I would say is kind of bothersome when it comes to these KO2s on on-road, but overall I think I'd give them about an 8 out of 10 for on-road performance. All right, so now let's talk off-road performance. If you are buying all terrains, that means you might be wanting to be doing some off-roading or you just want a good looking tire. I don't blame you for either. But when you take these bad boys off-road, they actually are pretty strong. Keep in mind, these are a load range E and they do have the three ply uh, sidewalls. They're meant to be off-road. Whenever I've taken them off-road, I've gone on some pretty shaly roads. I've gone on a lot of roads with a lot of jagged terrain and I've had no cuts in the sidewall or tread or anything. There's been no uh, discrepancies in the rubber here. I've had no problem with that, which has been really good. The one thing that I will say 
Uh, just given the tread pattern and maybe how some of the siping works, um, in mud performance has been decent. It's been nothing stellar. I find that these can clear mud, but not clear mud exceptionally well. Of course, if you're doing a lot of mudding or if you're doing a lot of uh, off-roading in wet conditions, you probably want more of a probably a mud terrain, um, especially if you <laughs> get a lot of joy out of off-road use. But if you are the occasional off-roader or if you're someone who likes to just get out into the bush, maybe you're going camping, these will do just fine. Um, that's what I've used them for. But I will say, in terms of off-road use, not a bad tire by any means. In comparison to others, maybe a little bit less traction on rock, a little bit less traction in mud, but overall not too bad. I think I would give these about an 8 for off-road from light to moderate off-road use. Of course, if you're using this as a dedicated off-road tire, you're probably looking at more of the 6 to 7 range. But for all intents and purposes, these have been decent off-road. I'm going to give them an 8 for my use. All right, now let's talk winter. And so when it comes to winter performance, you're looking for a lot of things in a tire, obviously. You're looking for a tire that can do well in ice, you're looking for a tire that can do well in slush, and you're looking for a tire that might be able to do well in powder or those colder conditions. Um, different tires have different rubber compounds. Some are gonna do well in like colder conditions, some are gonna do well in warmer climates. It's just gonna be a matter of the rubber compound. I found the rubber compound on these um, is not too soft. Like a Duratrack is very soft, you'll wear very quickly in the summer, for instance. But for the KO2s, it's a pretty medium compound from my understanding and my just uh, one year review here. But the one thing that I will say, these do great in powder when I'm driving out to the mountains to ski, when I am going through a fresh uh, snowfall, no problems whatsoever. And that fresh, maybe a little harder packed snow, not too bad. The problems arise when you're getting into that kind of slush and the wet snow. I find that KO2s, I don't know if it's because of the siping or lack thereof or what it is, but they do not clear water as well as other tires. And that kind of goes into the wet performance here, which I'm actually going to end up looping into the winter performance. Um, so for winter performance, I'm going to actually give it about a 7 out of 10 because, you know what, they're not too bad. When it comes to snowfall, they can clear snow just fine. I've taken them out, never gotten stuck in the snow. With that being said, let's talk water performance, wet performance. These have got to be, next to my Duratrack, some of the, I don't want to say worse, but some of the poorest driving tires in wet conditions. Um, if I'm on the highway and there's standing water, I am pretty much worried every single time that I might hydroplane. That's a big concern to me. Um, in light rain, not too bad at all, but as soon as there's that standing water, if there's water that I'm going through at a high speed, these have a tendency not to clear water that well, and the siping, I don't know if it's just ineffective, but I find a lot of times that I end up hydroplaning. And so for that reason, I'm going to give these about a 4 out of 10 for wet performance. Light rain, not too bad. Light slush, not too bad. But as soon as you get that heavy rain, these become a little bit scary. And why 4 out of 10? Because safety matters. And I would say 4 out of 10 for wet performance. All right, and so let's put everything together for these tires. Let's do a brief summary here. And so when we look at everything considered, we have on-road performance about an 8. Off-road performance about an 8. Winter driving about a 7. Wet performance about a 4. All things considered, the pros and cons. On the pro side, I would say this is a great looking tire. And they're usually pretty readily available. That's a big thing when it comes to tires, getting stock in. So we have readily available, we have the appearance of the tire, I would say road-wise, they are a great driving tire. They're good if you want to go on the highway to a trail. They're a great multi-use tire, a true all-terrain. With that being said, some of the cons are because they're an all-terrain and because of the design of the KO2, they're going to do a lot of things good, but not a lot of things great. And so what that looks like is winter performance, it's not bad, it's mediocre. They're okay, but as soon as you get to that wet performance, you're actually looking at a little bit more of a poor performing tire. Um, when it comes to hydroplaning, it's a little bit more risky. The other thing that I would say is that these things cost a pretty penny, and they're pretty widely advertised, and I think they come on a lot of American vehicle stock. We see the KO2s, we see the Duratrax. And so now the big question is, would I recommend them? My honest answer is no. Whoa. But you said they're a good tire. They, they do a lot of good things. They do. But for the price you're paying, I think you can get a better tire that's suited to your particular conditions. If you're going out to the mountains every weekend and you're looking for a little bit more snow performance and blah, 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 there's a lot of better tires out there for that. If you're someone who's going through mud, you're doing a lot of off-roading, there's also going to be a better tire that's suited towards you. Maybe it's a mud terrain, maybe it's something that has a little bit of a different tread performance, maybe it's something whatever. I think you can find a better tire. There's a lot of companies out there besides Goodyear, besides BF Goodrich, that make quality tires that are going to perform a little bit better. And so with all things to say, 
that's my review of the KO2s. You might have a different experience, and I'd actually love it if you were to be able to comment below what you're running for tires and how they have been. I think it's helpful when we as a community share tire reviews because these are the one things that go on every single vehicle, and safety really should be paramount. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this review was helpful, and I'll catch you later.